Hey guys, so today is a requested video. I'm going to be sharing with you some hairstyles or techniques I personally use to protect my hair at night and also to set my hair for the next day so I don't have to do so much to get a hairstyle that I want. So if you are new here, I am April Sunny. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video and let's get started. So protecting your hair at night is extremely important, especially on a hair care journey and also just to maintain your healthy hair. I would never just go to bed with my hair out because I will wake up to split ends, dry and tangled hair. The friction from tossing and turning all night on my pillow will leave me with damaged hair. So the first hairstyle I'm going to discuss with you is how I maintain and get this beautiful look here. Now, if you follow my channel, you've seen me do this before. This is like one of my go-tos when I am approaching a wash day or I'm just shy of a wash day. So I'll braid my hair and two cornrows going forward and I'll put a little rubber band on the ends of it. I do that so I can get the lift I would like at the root and you don't have like the little tiny waves in the front. See, I have like a bigger wave there. For this hairstyle, how I maintain it and keep my moisture, I moisturize and seal my hair at night. I'll part it where I want it to be in the front, slide it over to go down the center in the back, and I corn roll my hair going forward. I put rubber bands at the end of it and I put my bonnet on at night and I go to bed. In the morning, I'll remove the rubber bands, gently pull it apart and put coconut oil on the edges of my hair. Even though I did that before I went to bed and I did cover my hair with a silk or satin bonnet, my edges still dry out because I am in a long stretch, you guys. So I do have a lot of new growth. Um, so I do need to re-moisturize my edges in the morning. So I'll go ahead and add my coconut oil. It's just one of my favorites and it's definitely a go-to for me. So, so the next style I'm going to share with you guys is how I maintain my straight hair. So for me, I wrap my hair at night. Now I know there are some women that kind of split their hair down the center, crisscross the two parts in the back, pull it around and pin it at the front and then put their um, scarf on. I do not do that. I've never done that, but that is an option. For me, I wrap my hair at night. I do this to utilize my straight hair for as long as possible after a salon visit or maybe if I've done it myself. Once I've wrapped my hair, I will then put a silk or satin do-rag over that and twist it around just to keep that smoothness so in the morning there's no crinkles and no crimps or bumps or crinkles, you know what I mean, in my hair. Um, after that, I will then go ahead and put my bonnet on top of the do-rag. And once again, to ensure the moisture and the length retention of my nape and my edges, I will moisturize and seal my nape and edges once I have put my do-rag and the length of my hair away I'll then just go in and you know spot check my edges before I go to bed so they're not so extremely dry in the morning um, and in the morning I and uh, once I comb that out I'm left with straight beautiful bouncy hair so the next hairstyle that I utilize at night is the low braid. I utilize this when I am wearing my hair in a sleek, low bun protective style during the day. I utilize the, the low braid so at night I can take that sleek bun out. So again, I do take my sleek bun out. I will moisturize and seal it, put it into a loose low braid tie that off with a silk scrunchie, pin it up, put my silk bonnet on, 
And if I need to moisturize and seal my edges, if I if I miss them during the moisturizing and sealing process, I will then do that once I have my bonnet on. In the morning, you may end up with a little crimp from the braids, something similar to this, but that's okay because if you're utilizing a sleek bun as your protective style, those crimps are not going to matter because they're going to be on the length of your hair and not up here. So you can just go ahead and smooth your hair back out put it back into that little sleek ponytail with absolutely no problems. Now, moisturizing and sealing my low, loose braid is usually done on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you've seen my relaxer to relaxer video, um, you already know that, but if you're new here, I do moisturize and seal on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The next style that I utilize is the top knot. I utilize this style and it's actually one of my favorites <laughs> because I consider that to be my lazy overnight protective style. Like when I've gotten in pretty late and I just don't want to set my hair for anything, but it's straight. I've worn, I've worn my hair straight instead of taking the time to wrap my hair, which trust me, you guys, once you start wrapping your hair at night, it doesn't take that much time. But just in case you're being extra lazy like me, I just pull all of my hair to the top of my head, twist it around. It doesn't have to be super tight. You don't have to use tons of tension, but just a good amount to keep it there. I twist it in itself um, into a top knot. I clip it off with a hair clip and I put my bonnet on and I moisturize my edges and my nape with a hydrating oil. In the morning, I'm left with a soft, feathery, voluminous look. It will flatten throughout the day though, okay? So, and my last and final option, I felt as though it was important to incorporate this one because it's one of my favorite spring and summer go-to protective sleep styles. It is the pineapple. This style is utilized when I'm doing my heatless styling, which my go-to is a braid out. At night, it just couldn't get any easier with the pineapple. I just loosely pull all of my hair to the top of my head and loosely tie it off with a silk scrunchie. And then I put my bonnet on. If my edges are dry or wet from the shower, I will then just go ahead and moisturize and seal my edges. And so that is as needed, is as needed because I'm gonna do that again in the morning anyway. So in the morning, I just go ahead and I take my scrunchie out and I will moisturize and seal my hair in two sections. So I'll part it off in right and left sections and then moisturize and seal my hair going down like this. I see a lot of naturals um, do that on their channel and their curls are left beautiful. I do it on my relaxed hair as well and my curls are always left very beautiful. When I do my braid outs, I do not rebraid it at night. I utilize the pineapple method. I'll do that for a week and then by the end of that week, I am shampooing and deep conditioning my hair again. So I'm doing a fresh braid out. So in the spring and summer, I do wash my hair once a week, okay? So, so these are some of the hairstyles I would recommend if you're not already doing them to maintain your beautiful hair. Um, feel free to follow me on Instagram where I share a lot of my photos and let me know how you wear your hair to bed. And until the next time, guys, be loved.